Hey friends, once somebody told me, when a child is born, a mother is born. And that means a woman gives birth to a child, right? And a child gives birth to a mother. Well, today's lesson is dedicated to all the wonderful mothers out there. And yes, it is because it is Mother's Day. So, in today's lesson, we are going to take a look at some idioms using the word mother in law. Okay, so let's start. My first one here is at your mother's knee. Now when I use this idiom, I mean you learned something when you were a child, okay? So the other day I went out with my friends and one of my friends uh, sang really well and I said wow have you trained professionally and she said no I learned to sing at my mother's knee. So when she said that it meant she learned to sing when she was young. Now imagine why do we use mother's knee? We use it to say that when a child is young we generally learn our first things, the first words from our mother, right? She's the, she's the first teacher in your life. So that is how this idiom came, at your mother's knee. So well, for me, I learned to speak English at my mother's knee. Yes, she's the person who taught me and made me confident to speak English, okay? So remember, the idiom at your mother's knee means you learned something when you were that young. Okay, so when you want to say you learned something when you were really young or when you were a child, go ahead and say, well, I learned it at my mother's knee. Okay, friends, the next one, experience is the mother of wisdom. Well, it's very clear. So basically, people learn from what happens to them, right? So maybe you experience things and it teaches you a lesson and of course, you grow wiser by the day, right? So when we say experience is the mother of wisdom, that means experience gives birth to wisdom and so we call it the mother of wisdom. Now again, why do we use mother here? It shows that it gives birth to a new quality called wisdom, okay? So when I say experience is the mother of wisdom, I mean probably I've learned something from what has happened to me in my life. Now, uh, well, sometimes we really fight with our mothers or our parents, right? We get angry and we really don't understand things from their perspective. So I can make a sentence and say, you will never understand your parents' love for you until you have your own children. So experience is the mother of wisdom. So till you don't experience it, you would never know. And when you do, the learning begins there. Well friends, so that is why to make this very profound or with a deep meaning, we use the word mother, okay? And this idiom means you learn from what happens in your life, okay? So your experience makes you wiser, right? The next one, face that only a mother could love. Well, honestly, I think um, you should not use this idiom because it's got a very rude meaning and that means um, someone who has a very ugly face. So the other, heard, uh, the other day, I heard, overheard um, a guy tell a girl, I don't even like your friend. Look at her. She's so unattractive. She's got a face that only a mother could love. Now, this is something really rude. Okay. You do not condemn someone's looks by saying it. Because if you use this idiom, it means that the person has an ugly face. Now, again, if you see, we've used the word mother over here because it is only a mother who can 
love a child beyond the physicalities or the looks or the character, the features and the nature of the person because that's her child. She will never judge a child, all right? And that is why we use this in an idiom to say that a person is so ugly, nobody is going to love the person except his or her mother, okay? So friends, remember, and do not use this idiom, but yes, when you hear people use it, you should know what it means, okay? It's very rude, it's very mean, so please do not use it. Well, the next one, he that would the daughter win. Now, this is a bit different, it's a proverb, okay? He that would the daughter win must with the mother first begin. Well, now this idiom, especially for all the guys out there who want to marry um, their lady love, but remember it is important to win the heart of their mothers first, right? So, um, well, to get approval from the girl's mother, you need to be impressive. You need to get her on your side and gain the confidence that you are the Mr. Perfect for her prince, uh, her, her charming daughter, right? So we say he that would the daughter win must with the mother first begin. Now, well, my friend Joe, he is madly in love with his girlfriend Maria and he intends marrying her. All right. They've, they've been courting for a while now. But the other day I told him, Joe, it's not so easy. You know, you need to uh, kind of uh, impress uh, Maria's mother, get her on your side and then, well, maybe things will go smoothly for you. And then I said, he that would the daughter win must with the mother first begin basically it sounds very complicated but the meaning is simple you need to win over the girl's mother first win over her heart get her to like you and well then the girl automatically comes to you right so this is what the idiom means so all the guys out there pull up your socks be impressive go ahead and impress the girl's mother first and everything else will come to you easy, okay? So all the guys out there who are struggling, struggling with this, all the best to you, okay? The next one, like mother, like daughter. Well, this is something very simple. We hear it all the time. Now, imagine if a child is, uh, has some similar traits uh, like his mother, like it could be behavior, nature, uh, it could be dressing style, it could be food habits, okay? We say, oh, like mother, like child, or sometimes we say, like mother, like daughter, like mother, like son. What we mean to say is he is ditto, ditto or exactly like his or her mother. Now imagine, um, oh well, I have to tell you this. Uh, my younger, my little cousin, she is very calm by nature. She is oblivious to everything that's happening around her. And I wonder how, but she's very calm. She stays calm and anything happens, she just doesn't get affected. I really don't know how. So whenever I see her, I realize she's gone on a mom because my aunt is identically the same or rather she is identical to her mom. So I always tell her, Nancy, you're so calm, like mother, like daughter. So something similar that you have to your mother, okay? Okay, so that is when we say like mother, like daughter, like mother, like son. Okay, the next one, necessity is the mother of invention. Now see, again we have the word mother here. You know, this idiom is uh, very common and uh, people say it when they want to express that when you need to do something, you will find a way to do it. Okay, anyhow. So when you need to do something, you will do it. So that means 
Necessity is the mother of invention. Now I'm going to give you an example. The other day my friend was rushing out of her house and she had to leave, uh, leave a post-it um, note on her refrigerator for her husband and uh, well her, her cell phone had died off, her battery died down and she needed to leave that message. So she took a post-it and she started writing only to realize her pen ran out of ink. So what she did was very smart, well mother of invention, she removed her lipstick and just scribbled two words and left the note on the fridge. That means she had to leave the message, she did it anyhow. So necessity, when you need something, you will find a way to do it. And you know how you'll find a way? Mother of invention, that means somehow you will think and you will invent a new idea. That's why we use the word mother because it's the mother of invention. It gives birth to a new thought, to a new invention. Okay, so this idiom means people will do when they need to do something, they will do it come what may. They will find a way, they will find a solution, they will find an alternative manner of doing it. Okay, so remember necessity is the mother of invention. Okay, so we do know and we can find our ways when we have to do something. Well, the, na the last one, the mother of all. Now when I say the mother of all, again we have the word mother here. I mean to say the most impressive or maybe the most important of its kind or type. Okay, like nothing beyond this. So very, very important. Okay. Well, so let me tell you one sentence with this. Um, failure is the mother of all success, right? So without failure, you can't succeed, right? Because when you fail, you pick yourself up, you struggle, and there you have success your way. So that means failure is the mother of all success. It is the most important part when you are the most important aspect to getting success. Now, uh, supposing I have this uh, well, I have a colleague of mine who speaks really well at conferences and uh, she, she somehow doesn't leave the stage without getting an applause. So whenever she comes to our office, we are like, wow, here she comes, the, you know, the mother of all presentator, presenters. So what I mean to say is nobody can beat her. She's the best and the most important of its type. She does a great job and of course not to forget, very impressive. So that is when you say, the mother of all okay friends so these are a few idioms where we use the word mother in them to show the profoundness or the meaning of something you want to say because all of us know what the word mother means and how deep it is all right so go ahead and use these idioms in your daily conversation and well to all the mothers out there once again i wish you a very happy mother's day thank you for being the epitome of strength and setting examples for all the children out there and well especially to my mom i love you and wish you a very happy mother's day i'm going to be back soon with a new lesson till then take care and bye